Hello, this is Mauricia Anglade and Ralph Heaven Schiller Anglade. And we are God's, God's Power, Power Couple. Couple. Today we're going to discuss the Ten Commandments. Yes. And the reason we're doing this is because we just the recently, in the last month or two, been hearing on a particular radio station just some controversial points on the Ten Commandments and being a person that believes in the Ten Commandments and you know with God's help keeping all ten for the by the help of God you know to hear somebody talk about the Ten Commandments specifically the fourth commandment which is the Sabbath and and most recently Ralph heard on the radio that this particular pastor said something in regards to like kind of denouncing the King James version of the Bible because it it points out that you need to keep the Ten Commandments. And of course, that would include the one that some people have an issue with is the Fourth Commandment. So he so in order to kind of keep true to what he believes, he denounced the King James version and picked up another version of the Bible that agrees more of his teachings, which I like, what? <laughs> Go ahead, Ralph. Can you share? I mean, you heard it on the radio, so and you can show the verses in the Well, Bible. the verses are in King James Version. It says here, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life. Blessed that do what? To keep the commandments. Blessed that do what? That do, that do his commandments. Okay. Now, the New American Standard Bible says... The New what? American Standard Bible. And what did you just read? I just read the King James Version. And now you're going to read? New American Standard Bible. Okay. And this is verse uh, Revelation 22, 14. So and the same says, scripture. And it says here, Bless are those who wash their robes. Bless so that, that do what? Wash their robes. And and the, and the King James Version said, Bless that do what? His commandments. Okay. Go ahead. And it says, I'm about to fall off. So it says, Bless are those who wash their robes. So that they may have the right to the tree of life and enter the gates into the city. Mm -hmm. But the King James Version says, Blessed are, are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. Wow. So you went from King, King James Version that said commandments yeah. to another version of the Bible that says robes. robes. This is what's causing people to be confused. You know, and, and, and King James, the King James Bible was out before that version of the Bible was. Mm. Um, so, so this is why we had to, you know, do the Ten Commandments. And this is why this is the topic of our, our video today. So, so if you, um, we're going to point out some scriptures. There's so many scriptures, so many, line upon line, precept upon precepts, here a little, there a little. You know, you want to grab, the Bible is not two different stories. I mean, two different books from, you know, from new to old, from old to new. It's one book. They agree with each other. There is not, there's no controversy or confliction um, between the two. It's one book that tells the story and they agree with one another. And so we're going to point out just a couple of scriptures, but there's so many more related to this topic in the Bible, but just a couple. And we're not going to read them. We want you to do your homework as well to go in and, and look at these verses. Can you point them out um, and share them? And I'm going to share um, the thing about the health. Okay, we have Genesis uh, 2, 2, 3. You know, Genesis 2 and... 2 to 3. 2, two and 3. Yeah. Genesis 2 and 3 talks about creation. When God created the earth within seven days... And on the seventh day, he rested and sanctified it and blessed it. And as we all know, I know people are trying to teach something different. As since we were little, our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents, and so forth, always learned that it's Sunday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday is a seventh day which is called the Bible gave it the seventh day a name, which was the which is the Sabbath day um, as the name of that seventh day, which also means rest. And so that's from the beginning. And then you want the uh, next one? I'm gonna go to Revelation. Um, Exodus. Exodus. Exodus twenty, the whole chapter. So Exodus twenty talks about God's Ten Commandments, and you'll find that Ten Commandments in other 
um, scriptures as well. So 10 commandments. There's a, and I'm, gosh, I'm going to try to not be so long winded, but we just got 10 commandments. There's other laws that Jewish, the Jews do, but we're just going to focus on the 10 commandments. The one that was written with God's finger, the 10 commandments, you know, so within the 10 commandments there, there also is a fourth commandment, which, which is the most that people argue it's not all 10 just the fourth one which is the most arguable one that people have an issue with because it requires sacrifice and you know the seventh day is a sabbath so saturday so that would require um you know not working on that day and giving up some of your i guess people feel freedom and it's not as convenient so it's a day that people will feel like oh man i got i can't do this i can't do that but it's, it's more to it than that. But anyway, so that's the Ten Commandments, which also include the Fourth Commandment, which is the Sabbath, which people, some people have the issue with. Not all ten. All right. Then we got uh, John 14, 15 through 31, uh, if you love me. Okay. Uh, what was that again? John 14. 15 through 31. Okay, so that that Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And we know where, so we're like, okay, where's the commandments? Because I'm going to love Jesus. Um, it's in the t Exodus, Exodus 20. Those are the 10 that he's talking about. The 10 commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. There's no arguing. There's no going over it, under it, you know, sideways. It's the 10 commandments. Clear and cut. The Ten Commandments, if you love me, keep my commandments. And basically it's saying, if you love me, show me. Don't just give me lip service. Show me you love me by keeping the Ten Commandments. And people say, oh, we don't got to do the Ten Commandments. Oh, goodness. I would love to pull out some scriptures, but we just got to, you know, time. Anyway, if you love me, keep my, keep my commandments. And people might say, oh, but he gave a new commandment. And that is, you know, uh, love my neighbor as myself and love God, love and love God, love God and love my neighbor as myself. But that is the Ten Commandments summarized. If you go back to the Ten Commandments, you'll see the first four towards God and the remaining is towards man. It's a summary because there's another scripture in Hebrew, I believe, that says, um, I believe it's Hebrew, it's in the New Testament. And I would hate to say, but you could Google it. It, it says that if um, um, I, I don't give you a new commandment, but uh, is it Hebrew? Hebrew? But anyway, it's not a new commandment I give you, but a commandment that was made from the beginning. Anyway, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so, um, so, so yes, the other scripture. Okay, I come not to abolish. Okay, what's the scripture? Matthew 5, 17 through 20. Okay. I come not to abolish, but to fulfill. And if you still don't understand what that means, to complete, to show, be an example how it's done. Jesus kept the Sabbath. He kept the Ten Commandments. And he walked the earth to be an example of how, on how we are to live, to love, to forgive. You know, he was our example. And 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 if he's our example, he's showing us how to come um how to come how to complete the Sabbath, how to keep the Sabbath. And and if he came, he said I can't he first started off, I came not to abolish. What does that mean? To do away with. And somehow people still find a way to to skew this particular verse to mean something else. But they say spiritual spiritual things are spiritually discerned. But anyway, so the last verse is. Well, we spoke about it already. Um, the Revelation. Revelation twenty two fourteen. Okay, it's Revelation twenty two fourteen. That particular scripture, um, which Ralph also mentioned, is the is in Revelation. He, when he started off in the beginning, in regards to those who do, blessed are those who do the commandments. Again, what are they? The ten, and it's in Revelation. So. People want to believe the Ten Commandments is do away with when Christ died on the cross. And so, okay, he, he created with his hand. God created the Ten Commandments in his, in his, with his hand. And then to say, okay, you don't have to do it, do with it, do anything with it, or you don't have to do it anymore because, I, because my son died on the cross. So that means I can kill, I can steal, I can take what's not mine, I can want what my neighbor has and get it. Adultery. You know, I can commit adultery, mm -hmm. I can lie, mm -hmm. I can, you know, disrespect my parents. Mm -hmm. I can, so I can do all of that. So if, if, if the Ten Commandments is do away at the cross, 
I don't have to do any of t any ten. But no, the, not all ten supposedly. Only the fourth commandment is done away at the cross. That doesn't make sense. I mean, really, if we look at it and ask God to give us the Holy Spirit and put stuff aside, I was there um, to put everything you're missing out to 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 put pride aside and say, man, you trying to say I'm wrong? I've been doing it all these years. My mm. parents been doing it all these years. So grandparents, grandparents, you know, yeah. Grandparents. So you're trying to tell me all of them are wrong mm. or? 80% of the world is keeping um, um, Sunday. So you're trying to say 80% of the world is right and the few people that keep the Sabbath is, is I mean, 80% is wrong, wrong. And, the 80, and the 20% is right. Mm -hmm. You're trying to tell me the majority is wrong? It's not about a majority. It's about the word of God. Did you want to um, kick in before I talk about the health part? No, I just, I just, I just wanted to say that even in Romans 7.12, to see, I, I, I came across this and it, it was very vital when I read this. And God revealed this to me. It tells me in Romans 7.12 that the commandments are now holy. Mm -hmm. Listen, it says the commandments are holy. Mm -hmm. what, is, what, what, what does that mean though, Ralph? Heaven, Shiva, Anglade. What does that mean? That means we no longer have a checklist on keeping the commandment. It's not a burden. It's actually good and and, 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 and and righteous. But then it says here, John 16, 13, it says that the Holy Spirit will lead you to all truth. The Holy Spirit will lead you to all truth. Then it says in Romans 7, 12, that the, holy, the, 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 the commandments are holy. So I say, I read the scriptures to say this, that People have a million reasons why we don't need to keep the commandments. I'm only going to give you one reason why we should and how to do so. For those who are not keeping the commandments, these are the people that are not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead them. Because if you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, He will lead you to all truth. All righteous are like dirty rags to God. But it's the help of the Holy Spirit. If you, if you, if you want information about something and clarity, Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and he will guide you. But you have to first know that something is broken before you will fix it. If you think that you found the truth, then you won't continue searching for the truth because you think you found it. So ask the Holy Spirit to help you, to lead you to truth, and he will do so. Because the commandments are holy and it says here in John 16, 13, that the Holy Spirit will lead you to all truth. Pray about it. Fast about it, ask God about it, and he will reveal to you what is truth. Okay. My love. Okay, so we want to end on this note. 